Morning, mate. You all right? Bloody hell. I feel like I've been asleep for three days. Christ, that Polish vodka. Goes straight to your head, doesn't it? What? I have been asleep for three days. What do you mean? Where, where the fucking hell are we? Jesus Christ! What's going on? When your mate's home world, are we? So, I'm on another planet. How the hell have I ended up here? Why am I here with you? Yeah, yeah, I thought as much. The crazy Polish dancing lady is a freaking nut job. You're not half picking. It's either a hairy goat woman or a beautiful Polish woman. They're always nut jobs. I know she's a nut job, mate. I was washing the dishes the other day. I was looking out the window and then all of a sudden a face just appeared. Jesus Christ. So why have you brought me here? All right, she's jealous of me, is she? Spending too much time with me. Oh my God. Well, we're going to have to go back at some point. We've got a whole freaking season left to play. And we're definitely going to be playing it because I cannot wait. Massive season. We're in Europe. We need to be focused. You need to sort your shit out. When are we going home? Right. Tomorrow. Brilliant. I'm starving. That's my breakfast. That. Looks like someone's chopped a frog's ass off, fried it and stuck snot in it. I'm not eating that. Go get me some toast. Hello and welcome to episode 12 of The Road To Anywhere. My series and yours as always, thank you very much for your view and thank you for anything else you'd like to do for me. You know what that is by now. I just want to start this episode off by apologising just in case you haven't seen any of my comments or any posts I've put out on my community tab about the audio in the last episode. I didn't know till I got to the edit. I had a Windows update. Now, I've had many an update of, of various things. I do know they can affect your computer, but it's very rare. I had a Windows update once that wiped my laptop. Cost me a fortune to get my hard drive recovered. That was a ball ache. But I didn't know it had wiped, this time it had wiped all my audio settings that make my microphone work properly. So it did sound, like someone said, like I was in a bathtub, so I'm very sorry. There was no way I was going to record the whole episode again. I would have had to play the cut final again. And that was the best cut final I think I've ever been a part of. So I do apologise. I'm very sorry. Um, also, I was ready to go with this yesterday. And me virgin media went down. The whole street went down. So there's no way I didn't film it. So, oh, fuck it. <laughs> Can't upload it anyway. Um, it's come back on this morning. So I'm here and I'm ready. And I cannot wait. So what's going to happen this year? Well, as you can see, we're in Europe. We we're close to a title. I've got a good little team. And I put some new players in that team. Got rid of some older players. And I was ready to go. Approaching the end of the transfer window. But then this happened. The goddamn evil empire that is PS fucking G. I hate PSG. I ain't got the French League running. If I did have, I'd have took them over and ruined them. I wouldn't, I'd never do that. But I was tempted. Um, now, we all know what they're like on this game. They like to sweep up all the best wonder kids. I didn't realise they like to sweep up everyone's good young players. Because I've got no wonder kids. I've got some talent. Um, but God, did they come sniffing and bombard. Bombard my team. And I've lost two. Yaroslav, great little player. Great little player. Played a ton for me last year. He was part of my plans this year. Look at him. Now, he's not a, he's not a wonder kid, but he is very good. Now, he's worth a ton of money. Now, I got 3.2 million for him. But I only actually got 800 grand of that. These deals are worse than some of the ones I do. Do you want to break them down and take the piss? PSG have took the piss out of me. The majority of that money's coming when he plays for the first team. 120 grand a game, right? Now, I tried to fight it. My board said, don't worry about it. No, we've got to accept it. It's fucking peanuts. Just spend the money you get from it. All right, fair enough. And I can find talent. And I found a replacement for him because I had a couple of weeks left. But let's keep him. We didn't need the money. We didn't need to sell him. Let him develop for another season. Cash in on him later. I mean, as for all I care. But he's just going to rot now. There's no way. I'm just so pissed off. I found a replacement. Loads of potential, just maybe a bit back from him. 18 year old Bulgarian, only cost 475 grand, so I did spend that money I got from him, but that's not the point. He's a very similar player, although he's more right sided, of course. It's just not the point. I'm trying to build a team, I want that unity, and I'm just, I was very angry with him, just fucking me off and just selling him for what I think was peanuts. But I had time to replace him. I didn't have time to replace this one. Young Faris, his deal's gone through, it's going through within a day. And it was a last minute thing. PSG again came in. This one I've got for 4.2 million for, but it's the same thing. I got 700 grand from it. And the rest of it, it's like the computer's getting me back. Because I can't lie, and we probably all do it. When you sign a player, you can stretch them. You can stretch it out and you can take the piss with it a little bit. 
I'll give you this amount of money when they do this. I'll give you this amount of money when they do that. But again, it's like 120, 30 grand a game when he plays for the first team. I mean, he's a great player. Um, and I, I, I don't have time to replace him because this all happened so quickly. Try to fight it. Said no. Done. Nothing I could do. So these are all the deals. And you can see uh, you have a Slavs there. The other one's going to go through any minute. Sold a couple of other lads. Um, older players. Got rid of a few. Really took that squad. Other lads who didn't want to stay. Got rid of a few on a free. Um, I've brought in quite a few players. Absolutely did. Whistler over. Look at them. I love them deals. Um, obviously one of them was a part X. Opera, he was a decent little midfielder to be fair. Decent. to really was. But this Darius Zeus. Really good centre half. I wanted him more, so I accepted that. Um, I've got this guy in for 750 grand, a new midfielder. Um, we've got Sebastian in, going up to 1.3. Defensive midfielder, he's really good. Give me two good options now at defensive midfield. Uh, Milko, love that name. Good little player. Um, this lad, I'm not going to say your name. Someone said I should keep trying. I really knew a new subscriber who's very supportive. I should just keep trying with these names. But mate, hang around a few years. I've been trying for six. I'm never getting my head around it. <laughs> never ever. This one I like. Mr. Zoo Dunek. I like him. Central midfielder as well. Um, Conrad Pionka. Look at him. Very, very happy with him. Um, look at that. Gorski. Right back. And Bernard. Young goalkeeper on a free. Scottish. So financially, we're okay. And I didn't have money eventually. I could have spent it. I just went out of time. There's no way I could get a deal done. And I thought, sod it. Let's just go with what we've got. Staff got an upgrade. Tweaks it a bit. Expanded it a bit. This is awesome. So of course, the season has started. It is the 12th of September. So I'm just going to show you all this in one go. And as you can see, I played six games in the league and we third. Two points off top. It's going to be a battle this year. Very exciting season, I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now, pre-season, we had a friendly cup and a couple of friendlies. Sometimes I leave it to the assistant to sort out. Sometimes I even let the assistant play it because I can't be bothered. Um, but I was very precise with this year. I did it all myself because, as you can see, we are in the Conference League group stage, right? And wow. Wow. The qualifiers, which I'll show you in a bit. Okay. I didn't think I'd have to do all that, I'll be honest with you. So that was all in pre-season pretty much and into the start of the season. So I was very, I was just trying to make sure we had the right amount of game time, games in between things. I didn't want to burn them out. Um, obviously we're in the FA Cup, which we are champions of. Playing a nobody team, which I will beat team. And of course, the Super Cup. So let's see how all this happened. Starting with the Super Cup. Brilliant game. Absolutely brilliant game. I think we were amazing against a very good team. It was neck and neck, but it's going 2-0 up. And um, they came back into it at the end, but it didn't matter. And we picked up another little bit of silverware. Oh, I like silverware. It's lovely, isn't it, to hold and kiss and drink out of. Ten bastard qualifiers. Runners up in the league. We only get in the conference and we have to qualify. This league needs its reputation improving and hopefully we're helping do that. So, Boa Vista, I thought, Christ, they'll be good then. They weren't any good. 6-1, 2-0. Um, Austria, Klagenfurt, 5 0, 2 0. Then Club Bruges, and I thought, shit, they'll, they'll be decent. Belgium, decent league, good team, and have good players. And we lost that first game, as you can see. And only got ourselves back into that. Look at that in the 92nd minute with Bart saving us. And then that, Christ, look at it. It was epic, proper fun to battle your way through it, get to penalties, and win. And got ourselves into Group C, which you've kind of already seen. Um, but we've got a Bulgarian team, a Serbian team, and a Norwegian team. Won't be easy, but this is a good tournament. Good clubs. Our level. Real good test for us first season in Europe. I really felt, even though I lost a player that I couldn't replace, that we had a great team. Now, he's still got him there, hasn't he? Right. My left winger, though. Let's just jump to him a minute. Mr. Matius, right? I don't know if it is at this point, right? He might be going through the process of offering him his contract at the minute. I can't remember. Have we done it already? I think we've done it already. Oh, I'm doing it. Anyway, right? What happened was PSG came in for him as well. Right? He's a very good player. But what I loved about this kid is he didn't spit his dummy out and have the board take over. He came to me and says, I don't want to leave. I like it here. I'd just like a little bit of a pay rise. Well, you can have a little bit of a pay rise. You little freaking legend. I need a team 
of Matthews's Willy Chineskis. That's what I need. But back to the squad, and I think it's brilliant. Strength in the midfield, they've got a great defence. Good old legend of a goalkeeper. I can't... If I could find a better one, I would. He's decent, though. Um, and we're great going forward. And I think we'll be better than last year. I think it'll be challenging. But obviously, it's different. We're in Europe, and we've played a lot more games already. And that might have affected our start to the season. But I was ready for it. I was ready. I mean, it's not like we've been beaten yet. Drawn one game against Rakow. But we've done well, scored some goals, so it's going to go down to the end. The bookies have got us in third, right? With Lech and Legia, and is it Lech Chia in fourth? I know, I'm shit, I don't care. Um, let's say names. But I believe we can do better, right? And there's moments where it's going to be a, a proper challenge. So let's just, what am I talking about? Why am I still here chatting shit? Let's get into it. It's now the 1st of January, and we've had a couple of weeks off at this point. Um, it's early December, the break starts, so we're having a bit of a rest. No games, everyone's chilling out. Um, but look, give him a new contract. My little left winger is a leading goal scorer in the league. A left winger. Um, two best players in the league, my two wingers. Jimenez, he's mint, right? How did that lad not have anyone coming for him? I don't care. I'm loving him. Um, but we're top of the league by two points. Lost one, drawn five. 113 uh, leaves you well, so I'm in fifth. <gasps> and these are the results. Now, we are in Europe, and I do think that's affected us because there are times when you've got a two day rest, and I don't know if that's enough sometimes. Um, you can see it kind of did affect us. We got battered 4 2 in one game, a lot of drawing in other games, um, a lot of 2 twos. Mm. Anyway, um, it's still all right because we're top of the league. Do you know where it's not all right? And I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't. I won this last year, but they're shit. All right. A B team did give Bernard Burke a game, his only game, and then anyone else who hadn't been playing. Go out there and show me what you can do, boys. It's your stage. Go and perform. Every single one of them broke a leg. Wow, what a shit show. But you know, like I say, many times, you know, every cloud, at least we're out of it. We've got other pressures elsewhere with tournaments I really want to be part of the league and Europe. So. It's not a bad thing, although it's a bit embarrassing. What about Group C? Well, we made it. It wasn't it wasn't always easy though. We lost one, drawn two, one three. Um, but it was good, so let's do it this way, eh? So that's the game we lost as Partizan. Five two. Um, they're the games we drew, Rosenberg and Partizan. So the team that won the group, we couldn't beat. And there are three victories. Shakhtar, we battered them twice. And Rosenberg, we battered them once. And it was enough. And that is pretty much all that matters. I think it was down to the last game. I swear down, if I go all the way down, I think we look, we drew. Wow. Yeah. It was fun though. A bit nervy, but we've got through. That's all that matters. To face in the first knockout round, Rapid Vienna from Austria. His deal, I just remembered, because it was so last minute, it kind of went over. So he's not going. He's going any minute now. He's going in this window. Now, I could have been a nice person. I could have said, well, do you know what? We've got you for half a season. I'm going to use you. I might even try and injure you for fun, somehow. Um, but I didn't. I stuck him in the reserves. Oh, fuck you. You want to waste your career on the bench for in reserve team of Paris? You can waste half your career now. I'm not giving you extra game time. You turned your back on me, spat your dummy out. You gonna do you. The season now is about to start. The winter break is over. I made no moves. Um, luckily, didn't lose anyone, even though there's more interest. And it wasn't always just PSG. Some of these transfers, um, Milan were a big one as well. They came in for a few. Inter Milan tried to um, loan one of my players. Inter Milan, you want to loan one of my youngsters? What, what, was, what was going on? You're Inter Milan? So then, we're going to jump forward now to the end of the season and wrap it up and get into the games. Now, I didn't do this on purpose. I kind of... I was half asleep. I was trying to get it ready um, for filming. I've just been bashing it out, and I? Um, so... It's not as perfect as I want it to be. And you'll see why in a minute. Because here we are on the 8th of May and with two games to go on the champion. Yay. We're champions, right? Kind of take my eye off the ball. But I would have liked it to have been a bit more special for you. But this is kind of what happened. Now you'll see big period of green right there in the middle. Some great results. And we got beat off J the Jager bombs 2-1. Um, and then a 1. Then we drew a couple, right? And then it came to this game against a team we were neck and neck with. And at the point of this game, 
they were top of the league. I think, was it point or goal difference? And I was worried, but we beat them 3-1, which is fantastic. And then I kind of just took me out of it. I thought, we're neck and neck here. It's going to go down with the wire. So I played my next game 4-0, and then my next game 1-0. What happened to them? There you go. I wasn't watching. Like I said, I was half asleep. It was late at night. I wanted to get it done so I could film it yesterday. You know what's going on. Um, but we beat them after a great run they were on that had put them top of the league. And then they got beat 4-2. And then they'd just been beat 4-0. So they gifted it to me. I was hoping we'd be last game of the season against Leisure Warsaw, fighting for a title against the previous champions. But yeah, it wasn't to be. But what about Europe? Was that to be? Well, the first game, we drew 1-1 with Rapid. We then battered them, beating them 2 0. And I'm thinking, we're good here. Great. This is a great European competition. Third division of Europe. But for us, this could be fantastic. We then got Slovan Bratislava from Slovakia. And did them 2 1. Great game. Brilliant game. But we had to go to their place. And wow, did we put on a show at their place? I'm thinking, we having a run. We had a tough challenge next. But a challenge, I'm just thinking, we'll get past. To face Sparta Prague. From the Czech Republic, I mean, I'm an old man. When I was a kid, it was Czechoslovakia. So them two countries were together. And there used to be this advert about Czechoslovakian yeast. And you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, obviously they've split now. <laughs> but I still sometimes think of it as Czechoslovakia. Anyway, um, their league's three, I think, above ours. And they were top of the league. So, you know, it was a good challenge for us. And it was 3-2. We, we gave them a game. We even took the lead. And then collapsed at the end. Collapsing at the end is something we kind of like to do. Because in the return leg, is it the quarterfinals? We went 2 0 up and we were coasting. And they came back with two goals at the end and beat us 5 4, is it? An aggregate? We're out. Pissed off. Definitely. And then they went on and got beat off Partizan, the team that topped our group. Leicester is still in it. How good would that have been? I mean, the final's still to be played, but my mate Brian said in the comments, we're kind of like a Leicester, a t you know, a shit team that can just turn it on its head quickly. And I love that about this game. I love that about the level we're at, but very disappointed, really, because I know Leicester are good, and I'd, we would be, that would have been a tough ass to beat a Leicester. Partizan would have been a challenge as well, wouldn't it? Because I couldn't beat them in the group stage, but I would have liked to have just gone that one step further. I've really got a sour taste in my mouth about them two games against uh, Sparta Prague. But I'll get over it. So you can see, look, show you all the results here. We've had good periods, good form. Not really good form. Bit, bit dips here and there, as you can see. But we've been challenging and obviously we're champions, which is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, I wish we could have shared it together. So I've got two games left to play. So I'm going to play Corona. I wish I had a Corona, actually. All I've got is coffee. It's too early for a Corona. Um, away from home. We'll see how that goes. And then we'll have a live comp against the former champions, against the champs. Why not? Well, there you go. That's the end of the game. A 1-0 game. To be honest, a typical one of our 1-0 games where we create a lot of chances, had a lot of close chances. Should have scored more goals, but picked up another three points. That'll do me. Nearly forgot. So obviously when I came in, you know, ripped the staff apart and rebuilt it with you know, low level wage, decent staff. We've got a great staff. But all, I put them all on short contract. So at the start of the season, it reminded me that they all had a year left. So I renewed everyone I liked. And that's when I did a bit of tweaking. Well, this was my main tweet because my assistant, he wasn't great, best I could get at the time, wouldn't sign a new deal. Well, he wanted stupid money. So I said, no thanks, terminate. I found Jack Cork, he wanted to be like an under 18s coach. I think he's a cracking little assistant manager for where we're at. And for £425 a week, absolute bargain. It's like English tag team as well, so it's very helpful. So yeah, I was well happy with that one. So we're going into our last game of the season against Legia. Obviously we're champions, I know. But this is a big game because they're the former champions, double winners the year before last. So they're a big team. Got some good players. Although they did lose a couple actually to big teams. Um, and it's, I don't know what's happened with them this year, but they're not the team they were. Um, but they're still up there and they're fighting for a European spot, I think. We'll have a look in a minute, but this is the earliest result. So we didn't beat them this year, we drew. And this is a league table, so they've obviously qualified. I'm guessing they've won the cup. Um, but obviously they don't want to finish fourth. They want to try and get in that top three. So I'm, I'm guessing they're going to give us a fight. I've got the two top goal scorers and two of the best players. They've got nothing there, have they? Ooh, it's going to be exciting, even though it really kind of means nothing. Yes, they beat a team. That team, Sandy Jacker, or whatever they're called. 2-0, so they're the Polish FA Cup winners. So if we are here next year, we'll face off with them in the Super Cup again, won't we? Do you ever do this? i never show you this. But do you know you've got to vote in stuff? Some leagues have it, don't they? You've got to vote for the best player, but you can't vote for your own. So what I do try and do to help push my player 
is who's the worst one? Mikhail Kabawakinik, whatever his name. I vote for him. Give my points to one that no one else is going to vote for, or the computer anyway. That's what I'm doing. So welcome to the last game of the season, the champions versus the FA Cup winners. We've done a switch, haven't we? Quite nice. Um, I'd like to go on high. I want us to win a live come together. Um, Jimenez isn't playing. He's carrying an injury. Um, but the guy who's covered for him all year has been really good. I was really worried losing that player, even though I could have had him for half a season, like I said, and I dumped him in the reserves. I just wanted to like live without him. I didn't want to get used to him, and then he went and be like, oh, Christ. Let's just live without him and go through the whole season and see what we can do. And it's been a good season, quarterfinals in a European competition. It's our first time. Um, we're league champions. We've already won a cup. We won the Super Cup against these as well, didn't we? So it's been good. But I do know when the summer comes, we're getting pecked. We're going to get bombarded, and I don't trust my board at all to support me in any way. So this is this going to be the last game with Garnik in Poland? We've got a free kick. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Um, but yeah, we done, it done rain. It paused, doesn't it? Obviously, my microphone issues and the internet issues. I'm bollocks sometimes, isn't it? Technology. Does my tits in. I'm not the most tech-savvy guy. Most of you probably don't know. Some people assume I've got this huge setup you see these guys on stream don't you and stuff or even guys on youtube and they've got this like pc that freaking looks like a spaceship and they've got all this fancy shit double monitors and all that and it might put people off from starting yourself you don't need that all i've got is a good mic when it works um a good webcam which i've had now for five years but it's still one of the best a logitech 1080p um oh 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 good save um, and I've, I've got a very good laptop. I did invest in a good laptop last year, most of you know. And, and the reason I've got it is thanks to my patrons, a lot of it. Um, and that's all you need. That's all I've got. Got two little ring lights that girls use to do the makeup. <sighs> that's it. That's all you need. If you ever want to start yourself, I'm always happy to give information and advice. Um, it's hard work, though, I'll be honest with you. It is well hard work. <laughs> That's why a lot of people get into it and don't last. I mean, I'd say 90% of the people that were, that were around when I started don't do it anymore. But anyway, end of the first half is approaching and they are on us, Kubica. Can you get them the goal? No, it's that dude with a cool name. Back to him. Come on, come on. Don't like this pressure. Get on him. Well done, well done. Well, it's half time here and as we're the team. We are the better team, but we need to capitalise. Got a bit of a bus tale for you a couple of days ago. Um, you might not know, but have you ever wondered when you're on a bus and sometimes a bus just stops for a bit and waits a couple of minutes? That's called a timing point. If we're running too early, we've got to stay on schedule because people expect the bus to be there on time. So you have certain timing points you have to, by law, stay at. Or I could get sacked, right? I'm only waiting there. Oh, wow. Um, I was only waiting there. 30 seconds, had two minutes to wait. Big black guy comes walking down, right? In my face, you're fucking what are you waiting here for? Like, sorry, sir, but I've got two minutes. I've got to wait. You, you, you've got public service. I'm late for work. Get me to in work. I'm like, mate, I'm a, a public service for everybody. And people might miss the bus if I leave early. And I might also get the sack. Could you please take a seat? And he's like, ah, get out your cab. Get out your cab. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm like, mate, go away. Um, honestly, so that's giving me pure abuse. <laughs> Just like, nice one. So, do you know what I did? I drove at 20 mile an hour then all the way to Manchester, stopping for everybody. People who were miles away, normally I'd just leave them. I was like waiting for him, like, don't worry, I'll wait for you. Prick. Made sure he was extra late. I just said to him, why don't you get an early bus? It's not my fault you can't plan your own day out, is it? Honestly, people think they can talk to you like shit. And I've had that before where people have kicked off for me. And I'm like, don't worry, mate, I'm just getting off now. Just wait there. One lad once, I just got out of the cab. Then I went, I'm finished now. Do you want to go and talk to me away from the cameras and all that? I'll have, to have a chat with you. Shit himself. I'm legging it off, won't it? Bricks. Anyway, come on. Let's get into it. Let's do this. Ooh. Okay, we made a change to Pilowski. He's off for Gonzalo. Them two have, you know, kind of shared that. Do you know what? I'll do that, Jack. I'll do it because I'm talking. I often let. Oh, I would have done it. Um, I often go without. Do you want a live com? Because we're chatting, aren't we? And I'll be honest with you, I don't pay as much attention <laughs> when you do this because you're chatting. Wouldn't be funny if it was like normally. I'm just saying that. Oh, great live comes then, wouldn't it? If I just sat here for five minutes like that. Anyway, I'll do that as well. I'm not, I'm not in the mood. Let's get the season wrapped up. I need, we need to talk about stuff. We need to have a discussion. We need to have a decision to make. Do you know what I mean? 
but I would like to win. Eight minutes to go. Can we do it? I have demanded some more. Let's move that football. It's pretty annoying. Are we going to freaking collapse though? We could do because they're on the attack. Oh, ah, oh, nah, Gorski, you little turd. He's only young. He's on because the other guy's injured. Ooh. Here we go. Injury time. He's flying away. It's going to be a nil-nil. Ball fest. I apologise. I can't decide what's going to happen. I'd love it to have been a 4-0. It should have been 4-0. Look at us. But we'd already won the league, haven't we? We'd already picked up the trophy. We stopped them getting in the top three. They're still in Europe, though. That's cool. You want a nice Polish presence in Europe. But we're champions now. So we've got a chance of Champions League. So there's, there's things to think about. And this is a squad, the final squad. Carlos Jimenez, easily my best player when it comes to average rating. Look at my left winger there. Beautiful. 37 goals. Marcus picked him to the post, so towards the end of the season. Obviously got a couple of players wanted. Bayern Munich and Milan, you know they come in, it's going to get worse. Milan into Porto, it's going to get worse. So last year, I didn't think I was going to win manager of the year and it comes quite late. Um, I did. I won manager of the year last year. This year, I got two manager of the months and obviously we've won the Super Cup and the league. So I had a good chance of me getting that manager of the year again. And of course, my win percentage is still doing very, very well. But I've got decisions to make. We're champions, we've got a chance of getting in the Champions League. Um, we've got a good young team, but it could get ripped apart a little bit. A little bit of a rebuild. Will we be as good? Now, I would happily stay here another year. I'd also happily leave. So we are going to open up the series vote again. But I am not going to say, shall I go here or there or here? It's just going to be a simple vote. You will find it on the community tab. It will come live just after this video is finished. So if you watch this at 5 o'clock... It'll come out about 25 past, half past five. It's on the community tab on my page, or you might find it on your suggested lists. And it's just going to say, should we stay one more year? Yes. Or should I leave? Where we're going to leave to? I don't know. Well, mate, what a great season that was. It could always be better. It always can, but you can't complain. Champions of Poland, Super Cup winner as well. Very happy. Very impressed with the work me and you did. And it did help that Jack come on board as well. Oi, don't get jealous of Jack. Because talking of freaking jealousy, this season was made a lot easier by your crazy ass girlfriend getting put in prison for harassing me. Apparently she wants to murder me, she said. She hates me more than you and I've done absolutely nothing. She thinks we're a couple. Psycho, mate. Honestly, and apparently she might get out next year. So if everyone decides we stay here, I'm going to have to watch my back. All because of you. Can't keep your freaking cone in your pants. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll go with the flow. Whatever they decide we do, we do. We know the rules. I'll go with the flow. I'm not bothered. But talking to girlfriends, did you notice on that alien planet, all the women have three tits? Eh? Imagine the fun you could have with that. Might get one for myself. Just don't tell the wife.